know my lovely turnt lit Friday nights these days. Um, oops, sorry. So um, I'm doing great. I had a great day. I had a great week. I'm feeling better. Wanted to finally bring y'all another Bake With Me video just in time for, you know, it's about to be Thanksgiving. I'm sorry I'm leaning. I feel like y'all so far away. I guess I can zoom in. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should show y'all a couple Thanksgiving desserts. I'm also going to drop our Thanksgiving menu today. Um, if you want to order anything, you know, feel free. You don't have to. You might watch this video with me and learn how to make it yourself and you don't even need me no more. But if that's not you, if you just want to support, if you just want to see if I'm really, you know, baking how I'm talking, if it's good, if it's whatever, you know, try it out. I'm going to put the link in the description. You can order. You can check it out on Instagram. You can do whatever you want to do. We're going to make two desserts today. Um, of course, a couple little cheats. I'm sorry. I'm never going to show you the whole thing because then I'll go out of business. <laughs> so we're going to make a sweet potato pie. And we're going to make my mini pineapple upside down cakes that are my favorites. Um, shout out to my grandma for that. They're my favorite. You know, show you how to make it work for Thanksgiving. Show you how to get your Thanksgiving dinner. I mean, your Thanksgiving desserts. Show you how to get your Thanksgiving desserts lit. If you don't know how to already, a lot of y'all know how to cook, know how to bake. You don't really need me, but I'm going to show the ones who need a little help. Let's get to it. Okay, y'all, for the mini pineapple upside down cakes, here is our simple ingredients. We got some maraschino cherries i'm actually about to eat one now i'll put an extra one in there for me some crushed pineapples i actually like to do sliced pineapples but i got the wrong one so we're gonna make that work leave the juice because you're gonna mix the juice in with the batter three eggs half a cup of vegetable oil two-thirds cup of brown sugar a box of yellow cake mix and of course your muffin pan and some baking spray let's get started okay y'all y'all already know how it goes with my videos no gloves no hair net but all of this is for me to eat i probably give some to my mama or some too but yeah this ain't going to sell don't go running telling nobody is she nasty i ain't nasty your mama nasty just flat okay let's go mix in bowl First, what you want to do, no, first, first, what you want to do, set your oven to um, 350. If your oven kind of heats up really fast, like mine sometimes, heat it to 325 just to be safe. But 350, you know, for some reason, everything gets baked on 350 at home. It's so weird. And not even just baking, cooking. It seems like everything is 350, 350, 350. What's, what is it about 350? I don't know. Next, you want to... Spray your muffin pan. I use Baker's Joy. It's going to get me right every time. Give it a little spray. And you can put it to the side till you're ready to, you know, load it up. And next you want to mix your cake mix. Mix your cake mix, put it in the bowl, get all of it. Trash. Um, your oil, let me bring it because I filled it to the rim. Half a cup of oil, all three eggs. I just learned a trick the other day, y'all, let me tell you. Um, so I heard that when you crack it on the side like this, you're going to get a lot more shells in your stuff and what you're doing than if you just... Crack it on a flat surface. <laughs> I'm gonna clean this up real quick. Be right back. Okay, I'm back and I'm better. We got our oil, our eggs, and our cake mix in here. So next thing, we just need the um, pineapple juice. So I'm gonna just no, I don't wanna use that. Let me get a spoon. I'm just gonna hold the crushed pineapples back a little bit while the juice goes in. I'm sure some crushed pineapples is going in. It's okay. They about to get crushed even more. All the pineapple juice. Yeah. Cool. 
Now it's mixing time. You can mix it with your hands. I mean, not your hands. You can use like a whisk yourself and mix it. But I told y'all in my last video, I really like to use my handy dandy little hand mixer. It makes life so much easier. It's going to make my hands and my wrists last longer in this, you know, tough baking life of mine. <laughs> And it's gonna get the job done every time way faster than me. So just do a little mixing. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Stop as you need to and um, just kind of scrape the sides because you want all of this to mix evenly. Everything to get a little piece of mixing. And that powder will come up a little bit. Scrape the bottoms to be safe. Ain't, ain't nothing stuck on the bottom. And then mix a little more. Niggas swear they passed us. They doing too much. Haven't done my taxes. I'm too... It's going to look like this. A good little cake mix, you know. Y'all know what cake mix look like. And then we're going to set this to the side and get the next part ready. Um, what you want to do is get your bowl with your two-thirds cup of brown sugar. Get a microwave-safe bowl or cup or something. I always use this glass measuring cup. Put your six tablespoons of butter into the cup. Put it in the microwave for a minute and you want this butter to be melted. Thanksgiving. Butter is melted. Stir it around and make sure. And then you literally just want to pour it in with the brown sugar. And then just mix it together until it's combined. Here is the finished brown sugar mixture. And now we have to put them together so they can go in the oven. Because everything is ready now, let's just put it together. First, what you want to do is, I always use my handy dandy little ice cream scoop. Um, put a little bit of the brown sugar mixture into each cup. So far, you should be given a little something looking like that. Uh huh. Next, what you want to do is take. I'm trying to show y'all with one hand. You want to take a cherry, put it in the middle, and then you want to put pineapple around the cherry. Circle it. And I'm around you like a pineapple. Yep, and you want to do that for each one. Okay, y'all, when you get done with that step, they're going to be looking a little something like this. A little something like a little Christmas wreath or something. <laughs> then you want to get the batter that you made earlier. Don't forget the batter. I'm taking my ice cream scoop again, and I'm just going to scoop. Um, if you don't have an ice cream scoop, that's okay. Just scoop until the bowl or each little cup is like almost full not all the way but almost so a little more than two-thirds i would say but definitely not any more than that and you might have to spread it out a little bit because it could be a little thick a little on the thicker side a little on the thicker side y'all these are my favorite desserts because my grandma used to make them when i was younger and it's really no other deeper reason to it other than that just for some reason when i think of my grandma and thanksgiving and desserts i think of pineapple upside down cakes and they taste so good so it's my favorite why not what's y'all favorite thanksgiving dessert and why tell me in the comments let's talk about it because if it's something better than mini pineapple upside down cakes or the big ones i need to know because maybe i'm missing out or maybe you missing out. And to be honest, y'all, I probably fill mine up more than you should. But I like when the edges or when the bottoms, like, come out a little bit, you know. Like, not explode, but I don't like when these are perfect. I like when the edges come out more because it be it's crispy. 
and it's just more cake and i love this cake so why not have a little more if you want a perfect little muffin just don't fill it up all the way to be safe maybe you should do like two-thirds of the way full me i'm gonna want that little crispy edge so that's what it's gonna be and if it's too big i could cut it you know it's tricks to this bacon life it's tricks that they don't tell you till you win it but it's tricks this is what they look like before they go in the oven y'all about to go in the oven again i put mine on 350 um and then you only want to bake these for like 20 minutes check on it after 20 minutes and if it needs a couple more minutes go ahead but usually 20 minutes is perfect if y'all want to know what i'm doing during these 20 minutes waiting on those in the oven i've been put my sweet potatoes on the oven or the stove top i like to boil them first for like 45 minutes before we turn them into a pie Let's actually have like Thanksgiving story time while we're waiting on this stuff to be done. Um, I'm trying to think. I was going to say my favorite Thanksgiving memory, but I don't really know, y'all. I really love to cook, so I love cooking the whole meal, like from start to finish, from salad to dessert, from the mac and cheese to the turkey that I don't even eat because I hate Thanksgiving turkey. Hate it, y'all. I hate Thanksgiving turkey. Even before I stopped eating meat, I hate Thanksgiving turkey. It's so dry. Not even dry. It's just, it's like a, it's got a taste to it that I don't like. So, I'm good on it, but I know how to make a good one. Um, I don't eat the Thanksgiving ham. I know how to make a good one. Um, mashed potatoes, candy M's, greens, green beans, what y'all want. I'm going to make it. It's so good. I might do some Thanksgiving, like, little recipes on here i'm gonna see but yeah i think my favorite part of thanksgiving is really just actually cooking and then seeing everybody eating my food and they love it like that's my favorite part but one specific thanksgiving memory whatever years twilight used to come out twilight used to always come out on a new a new twilight used to always come out either on thanksgiving or like thanksgiving week or something like that and so me and my family we would you know, have Thanksgiving all day. We cook together. Then we would eat, you know, play our games at the house, whatever. Then we go to the movies and we will always go see Twilight. Usually it was Twilight, but if it's not Twilight, it's something. So another good Thanksgiving memory I have was always just, you know, finishing up the meal and the games and stuff and then going to the movies with my folks. I love the movies and I love my folks. So Okay, y'all, they are out the oven and cooled off. Sorry. Here they go. Now all we have left to do for real is you can take a regular like cookie sheet, baking sheet, anything. I usually take my little cooling rack, one of them, and um, put it on top. Make sure that everything is covered and literally flip it over. Give it a little. Yeah. And they're all out. This is your final product with the mini pineapple upside down cheesecakes. Y'all see what I mean about the extra little edges? Like if you want it perfect like that one, by all means do your thing. If you want a little crisp like me, yeah. Here they go y'all, so good. Okay, here's the first cheat. Well, I don't know if it's the first. Here's a cheat of the night for y'all. I'm not going to make the pie crust with y'all. This is a frozen pre-made pie crust. I'm about to put it in the oven on 350 for like 20 minutes just to give it, you know, a little start, a little head start. And while it's in the oven, we're going to get the filling ready. Are we about to get started with the sweet potato pie. Here is our ingredients. Um... You know, also additionally is the sweet potatoes. Y'all gonna see them first, but here's everything else. We got melted butter. Um, that is eggs that are already beaten. This is the brown sugar, regular sugar mixed together. And we have cinnamon and nutmeg. I already pre, you know, put it there, but whatever. And some half and half. So the sweet potatoes are all boiled. What we have to do is cut them and peel them. I'm going to show y'all how I do it. They're really hot, so I use tongs. And you want to do it while they're still hot, though, so it's going to be hot. 
cut off each end and then I make a little slice down the middle not all the way through but through the skin at least and then I use the tongs to try to peel as much of the skin off as I can well let me not say that all the skin is getting peeled off once all that skin is peeled just make sure that it is and then I just throw it in my mixer that's not a hand mixer I think it's called an electric mixer I don't know y'all but that's what it is that's what we about to use usually for one sweet potato pie I'll use like two maybe three medium sized sweet potatoes but Instacart really tried me <laughs> And they brought me sweet potato fries. So I'm doing one, two, three, four. I'm doing four. So let's get them done. Whoop it. Bitch, I'm outside of some movie. Blue cheese. I swear I'm addicted to blue cheese. I gotta stick to this paper like blue sleep. Bitch, I'm about my chicken like it's a two piece. You can have your bitch back to your groupies. This is my baby, y'all. Up close and personal. With the sweet potato pie, this is going to be the most important part. You want to use that attachment, not the regular one, the little whisk one. You just swallow all my kids in the two seat. Swagged out. Familiar, we bringing them gas out. I still got some racks stuffed in the trap house off the 42 and blow. Scrape down inside. You want to make sure everything gets mixed. Then we're going to get our pie thing, pie shelf from out the oven. And we're literally just going to pour the filling into the shell. Get a good amount in there. I always have extra. Um, usually when I'm making my own pie crust, I can make little minis and make little extra little mini pies. But since I've used this, I don't have anything to do with the extra. That's okay. She is all smoothed out, filling in, and she's ready for the oven. We're going to do like 45 minutes on 350. We're going to come check and see how she's doing then. And here it is, y'all. Yes, I did the knife test. I'm going to make sure my stuff is done every time before I take it out. The knife test is inserting a knife in the middle or towards the middle. If it comes out clean, then your pie is ready. So that was my bake with me today, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope y'all learned something that you didn't know before. Um, if not, write me in the comments. Ask me questions. I got you with answers. Um, yeah, so we did a little sweet potato pie. We did a little mini pineapple upside down cake. They're both amazing. Taste so good. Thanksgiving favorites, at least in my house. Um, yeah, so let me know if you know you need... I don't know. Let me know if you need more details. Let me know if you need, you know, more instructions. Let me know what y'all want to see next. And yeah, that was a bake with me today. We're getting into Thanksgiving mode. If y'all want to order, I'm releasing um, my Thanksgiving menu today. That will be in the description below, as well as on Instagram, as well as on thetreattruck.com. Feel free to place orders. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, repost, everything, everything, everything is support, y'all. And if you don't feel like doing that either, but you did at least enjoy this video, please thumbs up. Please give me a little, you know, a little turkey emoji or something in the comments, y'all. Let me know that y'all liked it. So, yeah, um, I would say happy Thanksgiving, but I'm about to see y'all hella until Thanksgiving. So, enjoy y'all day. It's the weekend. Don't get too lit. It's about to be Thanksgiving. It's holiday times. We want to stay safe. But have fun. But have fun. Good night, y'all.